Well, good evening from Alderman Farms. Here is part two of dehydrating sourdough starter. Um, it's been dehydrating since uh, 10.30 and it's 7.15. So 3, 1, 3, 2, 3, 3, 3, 4, 3, 5, 3, 6, 7, 30. So that's nine hours. I really expected it to be completely done by now, but I've taken a little peek and you can see some of this is really good but more here where it's a little thicker, it's not, it's, it's crunchy. So I'm gonna let this go a little bit longer because you see, it's supposed to all be like this, breaking. So that needs to go a little bit longer. Are you just gonna leave it at the same temperature or do I you am. think you should adjust the temperature next time maybe or? But someone had suggested, I can't remember who, I'm sorry, of turning it over. And so that's what I'm going to do with some of these top ones. They're not as done. I'm going to turn it over and keep it separated. I I even break that, that'll make it hydrate more. And so while Patty's working on turning those over, let me... Uh, let me ask you guys to, or tell you guys about something I just found out uh, from Facebook just a few minutes ago, uh, and that is that we need to be praying for Michael Pratt. Uh, Michael and Jenny Pratt have Pratt Family Homestead, and I just found out that Michael, through, he, he's in good spirits, and he's the one that posted this on Facebook, but he's actually been in the hospital for a few days. <clears throat> he had some uh, chest discomfort and he was wise enough to have Jenny bring him to the hospital and they ran some tests and whatever. He said he wasn't really having any pain. And so I'm not going to remember all the details. I really should have it pulled up so I can read it to you. Uh, but the bottom line is this. It, it, it appears, oh, the cardiologist he said was not in full agreement with the test results. But there, as of now, there are some preliminary indications that at some time in the past, and Michael said it could have been two months ago, could have been five years ago, but potentially, I don't want to say that it is true because Michael's cardiologist, I think, is not convinced, but there's a possibility that he had a mild heart attack sometime in the past. They saw a little scar tissue that was uh, causing his heart not to function exactly as it should in a small area that they didn't seem too concerned about, but they also think they may have found indications of a partial blockage to part of his heart. So here's the thing. Tomorrow, um, which will be Wednesday the what, 15th? Is today the 14th? Today's the 15th. Tomorrow, uh, August the 16th, he's going to a different facility and they will perform uh, a catheterization on him to uh, run to see what you know exactly get a good look at if there's any blockage and see what they need to do about it he said he's feeling good and Jenny of course has been amazing according to Michael taking care of stuff while he's been in the hospital uh, but I told him that the aldermans would be praying and um, I would appreciate it would consider it a personal favor to us if you would because we love those guys yeah, they're, very, very they're nice. such and, a sweet family and, and i know they've been in the middle of hanging and jenny had hurt herself and so they it's just a busy time of year for them too you know, yeah busy not a good time to be down not really any good time for this kind of thing to happen but especially yeah. not now for them um, they've had machines break down and they had to, uh, yeah, they harvested hay by hand. Yeah. Har harvested I mean, a, by a hand. barn full of loose hay because yeah. their baler broke or something like that. But so anyway, we would appreciate it if you would lift up the Pratts, uh, lift up Michael, lift up the physicians and, uh, we'll just believe God to, to heal him. I pray yes. that the, uh, that the catheterization comes back and all clear yes, and yes. that because you know, God made his heart and he can fix it. That's and right. and we just pray that that would happen and yes. would like for you guys to lift them up and reach out to them. Let them know you're praying. Yes. I know yes. they would appreciate it. Yeah, let them know yeah. let them know how much you appreciate them. So, Patty, what's the plan? Well, I have the dehydrator going um and I think I'll check it about 9:30 tonight before we go to bed. And um 
If it's not done, I don't like leaving my dehydrator running overnight unless I know it's something that's going to take that long. I'm not sure this will, so by 9.30 I'll check it. If it's not ready to come out, I will turn it off uh, and it will absorb more moisture because we're having rain. So I'll have to re start rehydrate, dehydrating it again tomorrow. So anyway, we'll try and come live again tonight at 9.30 or so if we're still awake i'm pretty tired so i yeah. may just have to turn it off and go to bed and start over in the morning so we'll have to by see. the way somebody commented on the flooring video only one thing wrong with that picture that you were doing the floor and i was filming <laughs> where was i hey who you think hung trim on the outside of that thing and uh, i wasn't totally idle but i, I like doing that kind of work that's I, right i like my, I like res doing that, my so. response to the comment was you don't know patty very well yeah. she she would prefer to be the one down there putting yeah. that together. So, but my hip is bothering me, so I'm hoping it's going to be okay tomorrow. If not, Tommy might be finishing it, and I might be the supervisor. Yeah. Oh goodness, that sounds like <laughs> fun. So anyway, uh, we'll have a part three on dehydrating, at least the part three dehydrating yeah. the sourdough starter. In the meantime, please uh, please be lifting up Michael Pratt in prayer if you're just joining us. Michael's in the hospital, been there a couple of days. He's feeling great, he said. He's feeling pretty good, he said. Yeah. But he may have a little blockage uh, to his uh, one part of his heart. So he's going for uh, catheterization tomorrow to... Any idea what time that is? I don't know what time that is. Okay, he just said so. they were going to another facility to have that done. So we're just praying so that, uh, that the Lord clear. will fix it and heal him up good. <laughs> So he can get back home to the Pratt family homestead. Y'all go tell yes. him you're praying for him and that you love him. And uh, tell him we sent you because the aldermen sure do love the Pratts. Yes. Thanks. Good night.